Hello everybody, welcome to the week 8 team builder for Fletchling 2. Fightsly, we are almost done with the season guys and oh I'm excited. I'm hoping we can pull off a win this week. We are fighting Brief Star Wego in the St. Louis Mini Wars. He has on his roster an OU, Zapdos, Ferrothorn, Toxapex, an UU, Mega Aerodactyl, Metagross, and Crobat, and an RU, Salazzle, Umbreon, and Golisopod, or Golisopod, whichever one you pick. We have built quite the team. Quite the team this week. I have the list right here of what they're going to be doing, what they're going to be good for, and how we're going to reuse them. So let's get into it. I've got to go get all the way to the team builder because I wasn't set up. Alright, let's start off with... That's the wrong team. <laughs> Let's start off with the wrong team. Actually, this is the right team. There we go. I know what I'm doing. We have Guardian leading off the pack this week. We're running Heavy Slam, Stone Edge, Leech Seed, and Protect. We are not bringing the Sub Seed set this week. We're bringing the Protect Seed set. That's going to be fun. Running Leftovers, as always, because, you know, we got to. Max HP, Max Defense, and plus four and adamant natured attack stent so that's nice boosting that attack side up we're gonna need a heavy slam and stone edge are gonna be really great components this week looking at his team oh wait what are we gonna do celestia really goes well with crobat and mega aerodactyl uh, mega aerodactyl one shots i believe one shots to a heavy slam um it could go well against Zapdos, but Discharge does do about 50% of my damage. Um, but if it does use Heat Wave and Discharge, it's not it's not a two-hit KO on Celesteela, so that could be a really fun play to use. Um, we're not going to want it against Ferrothorn or Toxapex, because they both wall me out. I don't have anything to hit them with. Metagross, we can't do anything really to either. Salazzle, it's going to be... You're going to see Fire Blast on that thing, so I definitely don't want to bring it in. It could stall awards against Umbreon, but I don't really want to do that. And Golisopod is just a pain in the butt. But, what are you going to do? The Sailor Steel has its, has its main main perks being taking out that Mega Aerodactyl. But next, we're bringing Goop on the team. A little muck is back, running Gunk Shot, Knock Off, and the rest talks and again. I... Love, love, love the rest talk set, and we're using it again just because it's fun. We have Black Sledge, so we're getting healed every turn. And as for the stat breakdown, max attack, max special defense, and just the 4 in the HP boost. We're just under 300 for the special defense, which is really nice. Um, I did not set a nature for this thing, which might be really good to do. Let's do an attack, dropping special attack. So, an adamant nature on Goop. Goop's usage for this week, Zapdos and Crobat are going to be the main targets of its moves. Gunkshot, believe it or not, does at least three-fourths of Zapdos' health, so that's going to be nice. Two-shot there. We do have knockoff, so we can use that on Zapdos as well. It does about 50, and that's going to be nice to take off the leftovers, which is obviously running, and we can also rest talk up. Now, Gunkshot does do more than Ice Punch would on Zapdos, so that's why it also exists. And then Crobat also going to take a nice knockoff to it, and we wall it pretty, pretty well. So that's good for us there. The rest of the team, not looking too good. Ferrothorn straight up walls this thing. Toxpec walls us pretty well. Uh, Mega Aerodactyl, it's got Earthquake on it, most likely. Metagross probably got Earthquake on it. Salazzle, we can fight Salazzle. We don't really want to, but we can. We have plenty of things for Salazzle, so I'm not worried about Salazzle at all. Umbreon we can fight, um, Foul Play is going to do a good bit of damage though, about 25% I think, and we really don't have much to hit it with, and it does have Synchronize, so, I mean, that's something, could poison it, should be nice, and then Golisopod, it's got First Impression and Leech Life that are going to one-shot us pretty, pretty, pretty close to one-shot us, if not one-shot us, so, don't want to touch that. Moving on to number three on the team, we have Cocoon coming back. Volcarona, we needed a fire type, and Volcarona was the fit. Bring in full offensive on Cocoon this week. Bug Buzz, Fiery Dance, Hurricane, and Psychic. Now, Hurricane's just there as a filler move, in case I need to use something and nothing else works. 
it's kind of a last ditch effort at that point. But we aren't getting Assault Vest or boosting that Special Defense. Speaking of that Special Defense, we're just getting plus 4 in the EV section. But we're running Max Attack in the Special side and Max Speed with a Timid Nature, boosting that speed in favor of Attack. Let's see how Volcaron does against his team. It's going to take out that Ferrothorn one shot with Fiery Dance. It's pretty nice. And also give us a boost, potentially. It's really great. It's going to take out Umbreon with Bug Buzz. It's a two-hit KO, I believe, but Umbreon really can't do much to us except Toxic. So that's going to be a pain in the butt, and but it's okay. And we one-shot Salazzle, I think, with Psychic. So always a great bring, but it does have that fire move on it, so we got to watch out for that. Yeah, Fire Dance, Oko's, Ferrothorn, Bug Buzz, two hit KOs on Brianna. And Fire Dance also two hit KOs Metagross, so that's nice to have. But we do have to worry about Stone, well, Rock Slide, and Earthquake coming from that. Next, we have Jet. We're bringing the Mega Sharpedo. I usually don't bring Mega Sharpedo, usually I opt out for Bronzong in this spot, but Jet's coming in this week. Run in. Waterfall, Crunch, Psychic Fangs, and Protect. All good physical moves, except for Protect, just there, because we need it. We're running rough skin ability until we Mega Evolve, so we can take it on to just whatever we need it to. We are running Max Attack, Max Speed, just a little bit in that HP. That might be switched around, though. And um, Adamant Nature, boosting attack in favor of Special Attack. To look at how it goes against his team, Sharpedo is going to take out that Mega Aerodactyl Waterfall one shot, but we do not outspeed, and that's a problem, very much a problem. Um, Metagross goes down to a Crunch, which is nice, but it can fire back with Earthquake or something to that effect. It does get the Elemental Punches, I believe, so I don't really want to fight that. And um, it Oko's Salazzle with every single one of its moves. So Salazzle's gone. Next up for the team, we have Calrissian coming back in. I almost didn't bring Calrissian this week, but we are running a very, very weird variant for Calrissian for us, which is which is really, really weird. But you know, what are you going to do? I need to look at how the nature is, but I'll tell you guys that in the other video. I, I did build this team, and I forgot to do some natures and stuff here and there. So I will check that out and then we will look at it from there. But we are running Stone Edge, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, and Defog. This is going to be our main setup. Mon is going to set up the Stealth Rocks, going to have Defog to get rid of Stealth Rocks on the other team. We're running 248 in HP and Defense and 12 in Speed just to give us a 221 base speed stat so we outspeed the Metagross. Which is going to come in handy because we can 3 hit KO it straight up 1 on 1 win that battle. Speaking of winning battles, Landorus' moves all Oko, Salazzle. So Salazzle has two Mons on our team that we can Oko with every move we have. So no problem there. Salazzle's going to go down really easily. And this also is a great counter to Velocipod. It's, it's Liquidation does do a crap ton to us, but we do outspeed and with Stone Edge. We do get at least 50% of its health, so it will go out of the battle. So that's going to be a great, great boost for us. In the end, in the long run, if we need to use it. But I do have another counter for Lissapod, and that is my final, final bring of the week. We are bringing Rotom Heat, or as we like to call him, Baker. He has run in the electric. Oh, I didn't do moot, do item. It's running leftovers and counters in. Baker we're running the Electrium Z just so we can get some nice boost on that Thunderbolt. We are running Bolt Switch, Light Screen, Overheat, and Thunderbolt. As I did mention, Thunderbolt. We are running Max Attack in the special sign and Max Speed with Intimid Nature, boosting speed over attack, and just a little bit in that special defense bulk. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun for Rotom. But what it does well against Ferrothorn, it does one shot with Overheat. It also one shots Metagross with Overheat and Glycopod. It can 
Bolt Switch out, taking it over half because it does about 65%, but that'll keep us in so we don't have to switch out there either. Or we can just Thunderbolt and same thing. But the Bolt Switch does give us a nice switch out and a nice pivot to anything else. And we also do have Electrium Z because we can use it on Zapdos, we can use it on Mega Aerodactyl, but Mega Aerodactyl Stone Edge is going to one shot. We can use it on Crobat and Glycopod and any of the other mons if we need to. It does help us out a little bit with Toxapex, which is probably our main our main counter to Toxapex at that point. But guys, I do have a little bit of editing to do. I got to look at uh, stats for nature for Calrissian because I left that out. But other than that, then this is the team. I will let you know if there are any updates to the team in the battle but i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please leave a like it also really helps me and also subscribe for more content for me and also to stay updated on when the next battle is going on hopefully we battle tomorrow you guys will see that hopefully we win if we win this one we're set pretty nicely to be the champion so really looking forward to that but with all that being said i hope you guys did enjoy I'm Chaos Me 006. Until next time, make sure you burn it up.